everyone, it's Raven with Expressive Tarot, and today I have a deck review and walkthrough for you of the White Sage Tarot. I'm just going to do a quick flip through of all the cards so you can take an up close and personal look. And then at the end, if you want to stick around, I'm going to give a quick personal review of how I feel about the cards. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, I do weekly pick a card readings and I do deck reviews. I currently have about 30 tarot decks and slowly, one by one, I'm trying to go through them all and just give a quick flip through and review of each deck that I own. You can follow me on Instagram at Expressive Tarot and you can check out my blog and my website at ExpressiveTarot.com and book your own personal tarot reading from me delivered via email in a PDF format. All right, let's take a look at these cards. Okay, there you have it, the complete flip through of the White Sage Tarot. It also came with these very cool cards. There's the chakra cards, which gets a breakdown of each of the seven chakras. And also this really cool tarot spread, which I actually did do when I first got this deck. And it was very, very accurate. So it's called the Rainbow Tarot Spread. I love that. It comes with a cute little um, pocket book to explain the meanings of each card uh, published by U.S. Games. Um, it also, which was interesting, gives the corresponding chakra to each of the cards, which I haven't seen in a tarot deck before. And here is the lovely woman who created the deck. So I like how it came with a little book. Also, I love how it came in this tin. I love tins. I think I just love packages that I can reuse for something else later on. And this tin can hold literally a whole bunch of cool stuff. So I'm really loving this tin. Um, <clears throat> I really do love each card. Um, and look how much room is in this tin. <laughs> I just, okay, good call on the tin packaging. As far as the cards go, they're perfect size for my little hands. And the cardstock is not the thickest cardstock I've ever had, but it's not flimsy either. Like it shuffles really great, lightweight, easy to hold. I'm not struggling to grip the cards. I'm not struggling to shuffle the cards. It's a cute little pocket sized deck that I can bring with me. 
in the car or in my purse. Look at that. Shuffle's great. I love the pattern on the back of it. I just, see, look, just spreads out. So I'm loving the size of the cards. I'm loving the card stock of the cards. I'm really loving the illustrations of the cards. Look at that. That's the death card. Usually a death card, kind of scary. But this, it's like you're starting something new. You're going down that tunnel, and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So very positive deck. It's very kind. And look at that. Even the devil card, that could be often very scary. It just has like the Garden of Eden and the apple and that whole thing. Ten of Swords, another card that's usually super scary for people. Still get the main idea across, but not in a scary way. I've actually been looking for a deck that I can use with my kids because a few months ago, my son, who's seven, he said, oh, can you read me, can you pull a card for me before I go to school? I said, uh, okay, because a lot of the decks I have, not appropriate for children. So I decided to use my first deck, the um, Hans and Roberts deck, which I thought, you know, cartoony, this would be great. What card does he pull? The Nine of Swords, and there's this girl, and she's sitting up in bed, she's crying, and there's swords all over her bed, and he's like, oh no, is this bad? Why is she crying? What's going on? Why are there swords hanging over her bed? Am I going to have a bad day? <laughs> I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> you just may feel a little anxious about something. He's like, oh, okay. Turns out he had a pop quiz that day, and he was like super anxious that day, but he said, the tarot card pull helped him get through it, which is good. So now he's been asking me to pull his card ever since then, but I'm nervous too because I didn't have a deck that wouldn't scare him. But now I do. <laughs> this White Sage tarot deck is perfect for kids. Very soft, very gentle deck. And when I did that rainbow reading for myself, like the cards weren't snotty. They weren't overly blunt or mean. They're just very gentle with their message. Just very guiding. So I'm super excited that I got this deck as a gift. I will definitely use it for my son or for clients who are not into all that blood and gore of the traditional decks. But I do like how it is still loosely based, I feel, on the Rider Waite um, deck, which makes it easy for me to grasp the meaning. So overall, I love this deck so much. I'm super glad I bought it and I can't wait to use it a lot more. And like I said before, I did get this as a, as a gift. It was actually a Christmas gift. And, um, but my husband said he got it on Amazon and it's really not that much money. It's like 15 bucks, which not a lot at all. So I love how the deck is very affordable. So if you're looking for a nice, gentle, easy, kind tarot deck, I would say this would be the one to get. There's no people in the cards at all, which I like. Um, so if you're looking for an animal-based deck, this would be it. I love how for the coins or the pentacles, she used the sand dollars. I thought that was a cool idea. Cups, she's got cups. You know, a sword, she's got swords. So... And look at this card, Temperance. You really do get the idea that it's about balance, all right? I love how the colors are all pastel. They're very light, nothing dark about this. It's all about love and light. So I just really can't say enough good things about, about this deck. So if you're on the fence about it and you're looking for a kid-friendly, happy, animal-based deck, I would say go for it. All right, I think that'll do it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, comments. <laughs> Talk to me, people. And I will see you here hopefully next week. All right, enjoy your week. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost at 200 subscribers. <laughs> I can't believe it.